Hi everyone, welcome to Crochet Diva. Today we are doing a crochet headbands as a part of crochet tutorials collaboration. I have added all the links in the description box. Please don't forget to subscribe to their channel and watch their videos as well. So let's start. Our today's tutorial is crochet air warmers. This project I have used baby pink, silver and mint color double knit or DK yarn. We'll need less than 25 grams of each color yarn. For this tutorial I have used 5.0 millimeter hook. We'll start with the baby pink color yarn. This is a DK yarn by Woolcraft and it's a 100% acrylic and shade number is 1000. It's available in UK. Start by making a slip knot. Then we are going to do 64 chains. To make a chain, yarn around the hook and then pull up a loop. This way you are going to do 64 chains for this pattern. For this pattern, you need to make an even number of chains which can be divided by 2. The air warmer we are making is a toddler size air warmer. The circumferences of this air warmer would be 18 inches and the wide would be 4.5 inches. When you making all of these chains, I'll be back after doing 64 chains. After doing 64 chains, this is how the chain ropes look like. I'm going to use the measurement tape to see how long it has got. So the length of this air warmer would be 19 to 20 inches. Next we are going to start row 1 and in row 1 I will make a single crochet in the second chain from my hook. As you can see this is the first chain then second chain. I am putting my hook inside the ch second chain, yarn over then pull up a loop, yarn over then pull through the first loops. This is how you are going to make single crochet. Mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. It will help you to understand where you need to finish the next row. Now do a single crochet in the next chain. Here I'm going to do another single crochet. One more single crochet in the next chain. One more single crochet in the following chains. So in this way we are going to do one single crochet in each chain until we reach the last chain. After doing all of these stitches, I'm nearly at the end of row 1. So in the last chain, I'm going to do one single crochet, then chain 1. This chain 1 would be the turning chain. This is how your project will look like after doing row 1. Mark your last stitch with a stitch marker. Your last stitch is just the stitch before chain 1. Now turn it over. Let's start row 2. In row 2 we are going to make a single crochet in the first stitch that I have marked with a stitch marker. I just took it off. Now I'm going to do one single crochet in this stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. In this way I'm going to do one single crochet in each stitch. If you want you can mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. In this way it will be easier for you to count the stitches. So in the next stitch I will do one more single crochet. Keep doing one single crochet in each stitch until you reach the last stitch. I will show you how I have finished this row after doing all of these stitches. You can notice that I have reached the last stitches of this row. So I will do one single crochet in this stitch. Then in the last stitch that I have marked with the stitch marker, I will do one more single crochet. So this is the last stitch of this row. If you want, you can mark this stitch with a stitch marker. I'm going to mark it. 
with the stitch marker. Now do chains. So here we are going to do chain two. Chain one and then chain two. After doing these chains, we will turn the project over. This is an important row as in this row we are going to start our main pattern. First two turning chains does not count as a stitch. In the first stitch we will do a double crochet. To do it, yarn over the hook. Hook goes into the first chain that we have marked. I'm going to take off the stitch marker. Then yarn over, pull up your loop. You have three loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the first two loops, yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. This would be your first stitch. So I'm going to mark this first double crochet with a stitch marker. Next we are going to do half double crochet three together. To do it, yarn over. Instead of going to the next stitch, we're gonna stay in the same stitch of double crochet so I'm going to insert my hook in the base of double crochet yarn over pull up a loop you can see I have three loops then I'm going to yarn over again this time we are going to go to the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop as you can see I have five loops in my hook I'm going to yarn over again and go into the next stitch yarn over pull up another loop now as you can see I have seven loops in my hook when I have seven loops in my hook I will yarn over and pull through the first six loop leaving this loop in my hand so I'm going through all of these six loops so as you can see I have two loops in my hook we are going to do yarn over again and pull through the last two loops. This is how you are going to do half double crochet three together. Next do one chain. After I will do half double crochet three together again, yarn over the hook. Hook goes into the base or last stitch of half double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop. You have three loops in your hook, yarn over again who goes into the this time it will go into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop you have five loops in your hook yarn over again and insert your hook into the following stitch yarn over pull up a loop now as you can see you have seven loops in your hook yarn over and pull through the first two loops leaving the last loop in your hook so I'm going to pull through all of these six loops. Now as you can see I have two loops, yarn over and pull through these two loops. Then chain one. In short, you are going to use this stitch, the base of, the, of your last stitch and then we are going to use the next stitch and then the following one. So yarn over, who goes into the base stitch, yarn over. Pull up a loop, you have three loops, yarn over, hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, pull up a loop, you have five loops, yarn over, insert your hook into the following stitch, yarn over and pull up a loop. Now yarn over and pull through the first six loops. As you can see, you have two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. This is how you're going to do the half double crochet, then chain one. Notice how this pattern has started looking so beautiful already. I have done few more stitches and I will do a repeat of one half double crochet three together then a chain one until I reach the last two. I have reached nearly end of row three as you can see I have few stitches left. Here I'm going to do a half double crochet three together. So yarn over already, hook goes into the base of the previous stitch, pull up a loop, three loops in my hook, yarn over again, hook goes into the next stitch here, yarn over, 
pull up the lip. Now five lips. Yen over again. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yen over. Pull up a loop. Now you have seven loops. When you have seven loops, yen over and pull through the first six loop, leaving the last loop in your hook. Now you have two loops in your hook. Yen over and pull through the last two loops. Chain one. We're going to repeat this pattern of half double crochet three together. Then chain one. I hope I have made this stitch really clear to you. As you have noticed, I have reached the last two stitches here. So yarn over, who goes into the base of the previous stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, who goes into the next stitch, pull up a loop. Yarn over, who goes into the last stitch that I have marked with the stitch marker, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through the first six loops. You have two loops in your hook, yarn over, pull through the last two loops. So as you can see, I have used the last stitch to make the half double crochet three together stitch. And now I'm going to do a double crochet in the base of the last stitch here that I have marked with the stitch marker. After doing the double crochet, I will mark my double crochet with the stitch marker so that it would be easier for you to know where your rose has started chain one then turn your project row four is a row of single crochet so i will show you how i have done this row so in the first stitch i will do a single crochet take off your stitch marker and then mark the first stitch of this row with this stitch marker so that you know where you have started after that you will do one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet around the chain space here chain one space then one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet around the chain one space one single crochet in the next stitch one single crochet around the next chain one space in this way we will do single crochet in each of the stitch and each of the chain one space i will be back after doing all of these stitches until i reach in the last stitch of this row we have reached end of row four in this row, end of this row, we are going to change yarn as well. So I'm going to do one single crochet in the last half double crochet three together. And now you can see I'm going to do one single crochet in the last double crochet. We're going to change the yarn color here. So yarn over and pull up a loop and we'll keep it half done here then trim off the yarn i'll cut it off by using my scissor i'm going to add a new color it's gray make a slip knot slip knot makes it secure when you join a new color i'm going to pull up this slip knot here as you can see, I have two loops in my hook and I'm going to pull up this new loop through these two loops. Then tighten up the loops. I will tighten up the yarn end as well of last color. Take off your stitch marker. Next, I'm going to mark the last stitch of pink color with a stitch marker then chain two to get ready for the next row so i will do chain one and chain two this first two chains will be the turning chain for the next row turn the project over we are ready for the 
next row row 5 is same as row 3 so we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch that I have marked with the stitch marker this is my first double crochet stitch if you want you can mark it with the stitch marker especially for the beginner it's really good to mark your stitches so that you know where you are going to start and where you are going to end a row next we'll do half double crochet three together stitch as normal yarn over then insert your hook in the base of the double crochet you just have made so i'm going to insert my hook here yarn over pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop have five loops yarn over set your hook into the following stitch pull up the loop yarn over and pull through the first six loop yarn over pull through the last two then do a chain one repeat again yarn over hook goes into the base of the last stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over insert your hook in the following stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through the six loops yarn over pull through the last two loops chain one follow the repeat of half double crochet three together then chain one until you reach the last stitch i will show you how i have done the last stitch after doing all of these stitches here i'm in end of row five i will do chain one and then one half double crochet three together so as you can see i'm using the last stitch as well for the half double crochet three together stitch after this stitch i will not do a chain one instead i will do a double crochet in the base of this stitch i mean the last stitch so this is my last stitch it's a double crochet and if you want as as well you can mark it with a stitch marker chain one and then turn your project this is a really simple row same as row four now we are going to do one single crochet in the first stitch here i'm doing a single crochet in the first stitch then another single crochet in the next stitch here then i'm going to do a single crochet around chain one space next one single crochet in the stitch one single crochet around the chain space one single crochet in the stitch in this way we are going to repeat this pattern throughout the row at the end of this row we are going to change yarn color so i will be back after doing all of these stitches let's do the last stitch in the last stitch i will do a single crochet because I'm going to add the new color here, so I will not complete it. Uh, yeah, now what? Then I will pull up a loop. As you can see, I have two loops in my hook. Here, I'm going to trim off the yarn. Add new yarn. This time, I have used mint color yarn by making a slip stitch. I will pull up this yarn here. Pull through this slip knot. Next, if you want, you can mark your last stitch. Then do chain two. So chain one and chain two. Turn your project over. Row seven is same as row three. So we are going to do one double crochet in the first stitch. 
If you want, you can mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. Then, as usual, we will repeat pattern of half double crochet, 3 together, then chain 1 until we reach the end of this row. This is how the row 7 looks like after doing few stitches. I will keep repeating until I reach the last stitch of this row. To finish this row, we are going to do a double crochet in the last stitch. Then if you want you can mark your last stitch, I will do chain 1. I am going to use the stitch marker to mark it again and turn your project. This is a simple single crochet row. So we are going to do one single crochet in the first stitch. I'm going to take off the stitch marker. Then one single crochet in the first stitch. If you want, you can mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. Next, I'm going to do one single crochet in the next stitch. One single crochet around the chain one space and one single crochet in the next stitch. Keep repeating this pattern until you reach the end of this row. The end of this row, we are going to change yarn color back to pink. So, in the last stitch, I will do a single crochet. Pull up a loop, but I will not finish this single crochet. Trim off your yarn here. Add pink yarn by making a slip knot. Pull up the new color yarn here. Pull through these two loops. Then I'm going to do two chains, chain one and chain two. Mark your last stitch with a stitch marker and turn your project over. As I have repeated rows of half double crochet three together, I'm not going to do it again. So this row is same as row three. So I have done another row of single crochet, it's same as row four with pink. This is the last row I have done and it's a row of single crochet so i just have done single crochet all over this row then just make it chain one and fasten off your yarn here trim off your yarn that's it do the yarn ends with the help of a tapestry needle and then you are ready to join this band together this is how the yarn warmer looks like after doing all of the yarn ends it looks really pretty. I will show you how to join this projector to make a twisted air warmer. As you can see I have folded it in half. Make sure you are in the right side. And now, now insert one piece inside of the other piece like this. I'm sorry my camera gone out of focus. So all of the sides with the help of a sewing needles, as you can see I have used the same matching color yarn of pink and I'm going through the bend. So make sure you are sewing through all four parts. In this way we are going to join them together. This is how the aroma looks like after I have turned it to the right side. Thank you for watching and happy crochet.